Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. To start with, let me take you back in time. Back in the 1920s, urge to invest in the radio, David Sarnoff snapped. The wireless music box has no imaginable commercial value. Who would pay for a message sent to nobody in particular? And the second one? Who the hell wants to hear actors talk on the screen? Asked Harry Warner to Warner of Warner Brothers in the same decade. To quote Heraclitus, change is the only constant. All we can do is push this change in the right direction. Since we last met four years ago for the WTDC in the Hyderabad, India, a lot has changed in the world, as well as in the ICT sector. Let's see if our actions have brought expected results. The key question that needs to be answered is, as we, as the ICT sector developing, Yes, we are. We really are. Let me just bring your attention to the two most important ICT indicators, the number of mobile subscriptions and the number of individuals using the Internet. Since 2010, the number of mobile subscriptions in the world has grown by more than 26%, while the number of individuals using the Internet has grown by more than 35%. In Poland, we have reached more than 140 mobile subscriptions per 100 inhabitants. So, as you can see, Poland contributes to the global growth and development. We know the ICT is the driver of development, innovation, well-being, equality, growth and productivity. Poland saw the point and took action. To me, actions speak louder than words. During the last conference in the Hyderabad, I told you about the new legislative proposal. Now, I can see, I can tell you that the new legislation is in force and we can observe effects of these legislative changes, such as cooperation between sectors, infrastructure mapping and development of infrastructure. The switch from the analog to the digital TV in Poland was accomplished last year. That led to release of spectrum resources. This will allow us to develop mobile wireless network, which will result in new offers for high-speed mo mobile data transfer. We are fully aware that to build the smart e-society, more needs to be done than just legislation and infrastructure development. Therefore, we have carried out several projects aimed at the reducing digital divide and capacity building. Dear colleagues, we will meet again in four years' time. This is a long, long time for in such a dynamic and rapidly evolving environment. Therefore, today, we should decide on our objectives and activities for the next four years, or else future generations will quote us with amusement, as I quoted some experts at the very beginning. And none of us wants to hear people say it behind our backs. They totally missed the point of what to expect from the world in 2020. We need to ask ourselves what the people of tomorrow will be like. The answer is clear. They will be mobile citizens of the world. We are responsible for them and we have to provide them with appropriate solution so that they could realize their potential in all aspects of life. At the same time, their mobility should not compromise their national identity, cultural heritage and their sense of belonging. In my opinion, our objectives should focus on connecting the unconnected, providing more spectrum for industry, foster, uh, foster, fostering com, uh, consumer protection and proper regulatory approach. Such an approach allows us to look into the future with hope that it will be a better future, a digital future. Our goal is to develop smart world by developing ICT, which is the bloodstream or oxygen for our economy. Poland will continue in its efforts to build the society of digital natives based on knowledge, equality and inclusiveness. Thank you very much for your attention.